Alright guys, this is Chris, and welcome to another commentary. So today, I've got another relatively high scoring gameplay really, and it actually ends up as a 80 and 10, as you can probably see in the title. Um, using the AK-47 with dual mags, uh, flak jacket, sleight of hand, and ninja. So, the reasoning for me using flak jacket to start off, basically flak jacket allows you to sponge claymores and various other things that tend to be left by random noobs who think it's funny to leave claymores down everywhere and also nades and whatever else, you know, C4, whatever, just sponge it all, which is nice and that's a random idiot ghost and it won't get out of the way uh, I use sleight of hand because sleight of hand is a god and sleight of hand just allows you to reload faster, aim faster and I'll be honest, I'm pretty stuck without it, I really can't use anything else uh, I can use steady aim occasionally but it's not my greatest Thing. And Ninja, I honestly do not know why I use Ninja on this map. To be honest, it's a bit of a stupid decision because Ninja basically makes your footsteps silent, obviously. And the fact is, on this map, you want to be able to get from one side to the other side as fast as you can. So, really, I'd recommend Marathon, to be honest. So, don't do what I do. Just don't follow me because I, I make advice, I just don't stick to it very well. Uh, but yeah, that's just basically me. Uh, so now I'm just doing a bit of work in their spawn, and basically I'll slightly just watch the rest of the gameplay, and I'm not going to talk about it anymore because I'm probably boring you. But that's basically what it is. It's just me going on a tear with AK-47 and ripping up their spawns and the random idiots that are hiding there. And oh my god, how many ghost noobs is there on this game? I'm sorry, but really. Look around. I mean, every single person I kill seems to be wearing Ghost, or if they're on my team. If, I mean, maybe it's the map, guys. I don't know. Because, obviously, this map promotes camping quite a lot, because it is a larger map, and, obviously, it's, it's like, easier to hide and not be spotted on the radar and crap like that. But, um, one quick little tip I'd actually like to give uh, for that is, if you've got UAV on, don't call it in. Now, that sounds really retarded. Uh, but the fact is, ghost players love you when you use a UAV. And I just did something really stupid there. If you call your dogs in, wait 5 or 10 seconds for the dogs to get in, and then call your chopper in, because your chopper cancels out the dogs if they aren't in the map. Tip I learned from Fair Crads, guys. I'm not taking credit for that one, but it actually really does work. So anyway, back to the ghost thing. Yeah, I mean, like I said, sorry, the way to counter it, really. I mean, you, using a UAV, ghost players love you because the fact is, your map lights up like a Christmas tree, apart from the ones that they aren't on. Now, if if it looks like there's no one there, and in fact there is someone there, then you're pretty screwed. So, really, I'd recommend just going straight for the Blackbird. Now, Blackbird, in my personal opinion, is by far the best perk you can possibly get. I mean, honestly, I. I couldn't live without a Blackbird. And whenever calling a Blackbird, guys, make sure if you are going for a high scoring gameplay that you basically die before you're calling your Blackbird. Call in your chopper, call in your dogs, but wait until you die to call in your Blackbird. Then you can restart your kill streak and get another one. Now, I'm not entirely sure on this one if I actually do get the Blackbird and the chopper and dogs again, because I think we actually do get overwhelmed by enemies, but I can't remember to be honest. It's been a while since I've actually watched this, even though I only got it like a couple of days ago. Uh, that was lucky as hell. That was honestly lucky as hell. If I, if I didn't get that, he would have probably have killed me. Uh, but yeah, I mean, honestly, Blackbird, guys, it is by far the best perk uh, to use. Best, is it perk now? Killstreak, sorry. Killstreak to use. And with that, I've got Chubb Gunner and Dogs, which you probably already know, being as if you watch my videos, that's why they always use, because I'm a Killstreak whore and I like Killstreaks. And that is a total load of bollocks. I mean, how the hell does a sniper get you like that? But anyway, I'm actually keep talking about the gameplay, and I really shouldn't be doing because I've got other things I want to talk about. But you guys know me. I've, I'm a big gamer, and you know, I really do enjoy gaming. And uh, one thing that's coming up in the UK uh, that I'm really looking forward to, and I just want to point it out, guys, game are not promoting me in any way to say this. Um... But Game Fest is actually coming up, and it's actually going to be the 16th to the 18th of September. To be very precise, 20 days, 15 hours, 45 minutes, and 22 seconds at the time of making the video, which is probably less than that when you see this. <laughs> but there's going to be a lot of people exhibiting there. I mean, if any of you guys do want to go up and you know meet up with a few of your favourite commentators or whatever, it really is the best time to do it. Because I know a lot of UK commentators are going, and I'm pretty sure that Sam 5000 is going. 
uh, Richard uh, or Itemp, I'm pretty sure he's going. Uh, Oaklefish. Uh, there's a few other guys as well that are going. I mean, I'm definitely going, but obviously I'm probably not your favourite commentator. <laughs> um, I'm just really looking forward to some of the new games this year, and the opportunity to play them before they come out sounds really good to me. Now, to any hardcore game addict, uh, the opportunity to play a game before it comes out is... It's pretty good. Um, I'm just trying to sort out my accommodation and tickets at the moment. Uh, speaking of tickets, guys, I mean, gaming events, I mean, they do come very, very costly. I mean, I've been to one LAN before. Uh, now, if you don't know what a LAN is, it's basically a load of people setting up consoles and fighting each other for, like, uh, a tournament or whatever. And the one I went to was ECL, uh, European Console League. When I used to do a lot of Deserto, uh, now I'd actually want to get back in Deserto and carry on doing that and do stuff. But anyway, I'm getting off topic, so I'll, just, I'll get back on topic. Um, tickets to like a, a LAN are like £60 per person, uh, which sounds like a lot, and it is a lot. But obviously you win money and stuff, so it's not too bad. <clears throat> now Game Fest is actually only £10 for adults and £5 for kids. Now I honestly don't know what the age thing for kids is, I think it's like under 12 or something. Uh, so I guess not many of you guys are under 12, but if you are, then you can get in for a fiver, so it's not exactly a bad day out. And it is going to be held over the two days, like I said, the 16th to the 18th of September. <coughs> and the exhibitors that are going to be there, I'll just give you a quick uh, run through of them. So it's going to be Xbox 360 or Microsoft exhibiting with Gears of War 3. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm really looking forward to Gears. I play Gears 2, I didn't get to play Gears 1. But I did enjoy it, I did enjoy the storyline and the multiplayer was good, apart from it was very, 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 very laggy. Now, I hope they fix that in this new new release, and that's host migration. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I didn't notice that in the video. But yeah, <clears throat> so Gears looks really good. Uh, from PlayStation, for you PS3 guys, we've got Resistance 3 and we've got Uncharted 3, uh, Drake's Deception or something. And now Resistance 3, I played Resistance 1, never got to play Resistance 2, but I really enjoyed it. <coughs> and I'm so, from what I remember, Resistance really was one of the best PS3 games out there. And from EA, we've got Battlefield 3 and Mass Effect 3 and FIFA 12 and a few other games. But Battlefield 3, guys, now, I really do say I am really, really, really looking forward to Battlefield, Battlefield 3. Uh, now, really, guys, would you like to see some gameplay from Battlefield 3 when it actually does come out? Or are you all serious COD hardcore addicts and you don't want to see anything other than COD? Uh, COD? Now, I'm always trying to improve my channel, guys, and bring you what what you want to see. So if you can just give me a bit of feedback on that, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, also, there's what we all want to hear about us COD addicts is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Now, I cannot tell you guys just how much I am looking forward to this. Uh, Black Ops now is boring me to tears. I really can't be bothered with it anymore. It's just full of ghost noobs and last stand noobs and all that crap. <coughs> now, you're probably going to say to me, oh, go and play the Express playlist. Fair enough, yeah, but it is only a six man thing. I mean, if they made it, you know, nine man, I'll, I'll bite the hands off. I'll go straight onto that playlist and play it all the time. Uh, but obviously it isn't a six man, there's less kills going to go around and I just don't find it quite as enjoyable to be honest. And this is a chopper I've just sped up again, uh, just because I don't think you guys want to watch it. If you do want to watch the full chopper, just let me know, you know, I will do it. But what am I looking forward to in Modern Warfare 3 the most? Uh, that would be Spec Ops mode. And I don't know why, but Modern Warfare 2 Spec Ops, it just really kept me entertained. It was really good, it was really balanced. And from what I've heard from the commentators who have actually played this, uh, from COD, well, from some various COD events, uh, it does actually look really good. It does sound good, it sounds like it plays well. And Modern Warfare 3 is on the horizon, guys. It's actually it's only like 90 days away or something. I don't, I don't know, it's November time. I don't know exactly how many days that is, I'm not that sad to know. But I'm sure somebody out there does know, so leave me a comment and just let me know. But I think the gameplay is actually just about to wrap up, guys. So that is 10 minutes of me talking about random rubbish. But, guys, if you are going to the Game Fest, I will see you there. And I do hope to see you there. So I do hope to interact with you subscribers and maybe you know, talk to you, to play with you, whatever. And, yeah, so that is the end of the game, guys. If you have enjoyed it, please leave me a like rating and subscribe if you haven't. Anyway, guys, please keep taking on the world. One ghost noob at a time. This has been Chris. Thanks a lot.